What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about everything that you need to know regarding conservation and biodiversity. So this is all of A4.2. So basically, you can see this is what we're going to be covering today. There's a lot of stuff. So let's just get started. When we look at our planet, right, we know there are so many different organisms. There's such a huge array of organisms. And in the past, there was organisms that don't even exist today, like the dinosaur. And in the future, there will be organisms that don't exist today, new species that may develop, right? So what I want to say is, normally, all of these creatures, they can easily adapt with changing pressures. What do I mean by changing pressures? For example, weather changes, climate changes, things like that, natural things. So normally these creatures can easily adapt to these changing pressures by changing over time, right? This is natural and we call it evolution. But if a certain change happens that is not gradual, it's very sudden or too fast, then we're going to start causing harm to these organisms because they cannot adapt at a fast enough rate. And, and I can illustrate this for you guys. Recently, not even recently, freaking long ago, 65 million years ago, we had what we call the fifth mass extinction. And this is the event that killed all of the dinosaurs, right? We've heard about this. But besides for dinosaurs, so many other organisms got extinct as well. We just didn't mention them. But we know in that event, dinosaurs also got extinct. And what caused this? What was the reason for this? It was asteroids. Asteroids was the reason for this mass extinction. So we can see this is not a slow, gradual event. Asteroids is a sudden, huge problem that just happens out of nowhere. And the organisms obviously can't adapt to that. Um, now, all of the other ones, so the fourth, the third, the second, and the first, they were also caused by natural events, right? Just like this asteroid. Now, what we are going through now is something interesting. We Scientists like to call it the sixth mass extinction. And this extinction is unique compared to the other ones because it is um, anthropogenic. Anthropogenic. This means human caused. Anthropogenic means caused by human activity. So this is the first extinction that we're going through um, slowly due to human activity that is going to lead to the sixth mass extinction. So that's very important. So know that this one we're going through now, the sixth one is unique compared to the other ones because it is anthropogenic, influenced by human activity. So not nature, not, not a random event from nature like the asteroids. So if this keeps going, if we don't make changes, if we don't take action, it's going to lead to an extinction and it's going to be very depressing and obviously it's so preventable. So that's what makes it especially sad. Okay, now it's very important we understand first what biodiversity means, right? So we have an earth that is so biodiverse. What does that mean? Bio means living things. Diversity just means the word diversity, right? Meaning a wide variety of. So we have such a wide variety of life on our planet now. So many different organisms, right? So really, what is biodiversity? It's the variety of life found within an area not just the number of life. So for example, if our planet only had humans, even though there's a lot of life, 8 billion or something people, that is not very biodiverse because it there's no variety of life. There's only human beings. There's all, only Homo sapiens, no other organisms. So biodiversity is important in two aspects, not only number of life, but variety of life. So for example, Let's look at an, uh, at an ecosystem that is biodiverse and one that is not. So this right here would, be a, um, would have high biodiversity, high biodiversity, uh, this coral reef. There's a lot of fishies, there's a lot of these corals here, and a lot of other microorganisms we can't even see. It's very biodiverse. There's a lot of organisms and a huge variety of them. This one right here, this burnt down forest, is an example of low biodiversity because the organisms, the plants, the trees are being killed. The animals in there are being killed and chased away by the fire. So this area will have not only a low number of life, but also a low variety of life. So this is an example of low biodiversity. Okay. Now, in terms of biodiversity, we, need to, we can analyze it. It's very important to understand this. We can look at it in terms of three key aspects. Three key aspects. So we can analyze biodiversity in terms of three key aspects. Let me show you. Sorry, let me just...
For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.